Second point is about Primoz Roglic, who started the week just losing time to Remco Evenepoel. He never looked as though he was going to put Evenepoel in trouble. By the end of the week, he has taken off a minute and five seconds, roughly, of the time. He's a minute 34 down on GC, and he's looking almost back to his old self. For me, he needs to do a couple of things if he's going to win the race. One, do not explode your team in 500 metres of a climb. On the Sierra Nevada stage, they had it set up beautifully like the Grandon stage at the Tour. Dennis and Ehrman up the road. But they caught them at the at the wrong time together. And then 500 metres into Sierra Nevada, they both exploded. And half the team had. Um, also, he needs to, for me, follow Enric Mass. For two reasons. One, he's only 30 seconds down on GC. But also, follow that and be aggressive with Mass. Puts pressure on Remco Evenepoel behind. And makes the race more aggressive, more exciting. For me, that's what Roglic has got to do if he's going to win this year's Welter. He's going to try. There's no point in him finishing second when he's trying to equal Roberto Aras's record. So... Hopefully we see Primos keep going up while Remco probably stays the same or goes down on his levels and we see an epic battle. It's going to be tough. Can Roglic do it? I don't think so. Do you?